Okay, well we're here uh, this morning at uh, the county ground Beckenham, Kent County Cricket Club's second ground, and a ground we've been resident at for the last 12 years. Um, in 2002, uh, we started the project to bring county cricket to Bromley uh, and to the metropolitan area of the county, working with, with two main bodies really. Uh, one was Bromley Council, uh, and the other was Leander, and Leander are a property developer who own this piece of land and we've been tenant here uh, for the last 12 years and the first phase of the project uh, was the construction of a, of a pavilion and that pavilion's been there uh, since we moved up here and we've operated with that pavilion and we've put on uh, first class cricket and uh, 2020 cricket here over that period but really over time the challenges have got greater in terms of running it and, and, and one of the things that it's lacked is meaningful significant facilities. So over the last couple of years we've been working with those same two partners Bromley and Leander and we're now nearing the end of the completion of a really exciting redevelopment of the, of the whole area, a multi-million pound project uh, which includes some fantastic new facilities which we'll now go and take a closer look at. Okay, so we're now inside. Uh, this is still a building site, so hard hats and high vis jackets. Uh, this is the academy building, and we're standing now in what will be our conference and banqueting area. Uh, fantastic facility that will seat uh, anything up to 200 people. We've got kitchens and a bar area, and then also in this building, we've got a physiotherapy unit with five treatment rooms uh, and replicating very much what we've got at Canterbury. Very successful, uh, small part of our business, but very busy and, and vibrant part of our business and again serving the local community. And then downstairs in this space uh, we've got the gym area and the indoor school which we're going to have a look at now. Okay so now we're in the uh, indoor school. Uh, this is being built to ECB Academy standards. Uh, and we'll have five cricket lanes in here. Uh, but this will also be a space that we can use for multi-sport activities, netball, football, uh, badminton. Uh, in actual fact, we think about 11 sports we can play in this indoor space. Uh, and this really is the jewel in the crown, I think, from a cricket point of view. Uh, key thing for us is going to be developing young, talented players. We've also already got a very good track record of developing players in the metropolitan part of Kent. Uh, and I think this opens up a whole number of ways in which we can do that. Not least, really, cutting down the amount of travel uh, for young players, academy players, uh, from this end of the county. Up till now, they've had to go backwards and forwards to Canterbury. And that's been a limit, I think, to, to um, developing young, talented players. So, fantastic new facility, great lighting, great netting, uh, and I can really see this being used regularly uh, developing young players, but also for those other sporting activities too. Basically what we've got is we've got uh, three distinct areas to the site. One is the ICC, which is the Indoor um, Cricket Training Centre. Um, we've got the Grandstand, which is um, for 2048 spectators. And we've got uh, what we call the Mooga, the multi-use games area, which is the external football pitches, um, tennis courts and uh, basketball courts uh, for, for other sporting activities. Um, yeah, we, uh, we predominantly... Um, spend most of our time uh, on the ICC, albeit the, uh, the stand is nearing completion now uh, and we anticipate completing in this area within the next two weeks. Um, and then the ICC will be as per, um, as per the, uh, the, the contract programme and we'll complete that um, early part of uh, autumn. So 
So back outside now and we're standing on the 3G football pitches and behind me are three uh, pitches that will be available for small sided games, so five a side, six a side, used a lot by youth teams I think. Uh, and then to my right uh, we've got two tennis courts and a, and a basketball court as well. Uh, and these facilities really are our community facilities. Uh, interestingly we neighbour Crystal Palace Football Club's training ground and we expect their youth teams to use these 3G pitches regularly uh, and I think again this will be a fantastic great asset to the local area uh, and can't really wait for it to be open and to see people running around here and, um, and enjoying themselves. So hopefully as we've gone around and as you've seen the work that ground staff are doing and what's going on inside, uh, you've got an impression of a fantastic new facility which is going to be a great asset for Kent County Cricket Club. The exciting thing is that we enter into a 20 year lease from the moment these facilities are completed at a peppercorn rent so it's not costing the club a, a rent to be here. We're going to have all these wonderful new facilities to operate and even more excitingly we're going to be able to host professional cricket here once again uh, hopefully in 2015 and certainly our expectation is to be back here uh, playing professional cricket next year uh, which is one of the reasons we're doing all the work to the outfield so uh, we'll keep you updated I'm sure there'll be lots of updates to come over the coming months and I look forward to welcoming many of you here in the 2015 season.